Hey guys, welcome back to the part 3 of the DIY S-Pod tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to be installing the um, relay panel and the switch panel. So by now, you should have a relay panel that we created in part 1, which will have 6 wires of 6 feet long and 5 wires of 2 feet long with female quick disconnect. And then you should have a switch panel that we created in part 2 with 5 wires and plus 3 wires. All of them should have a male quick disconnect. I'm using a scrap duct sheet that was left over from last work. You can use any material or if you want to find this, you can find this in Home Depot or Lowe's. Cut to the size of relay panel and attach it using two machine screws. I believe they are 832 and half inch long. Drill two holes into that little piece. Now take the uh, wire hanger and tape. And fish the six feet wire from the relay panel through the um, firewall from the passenger side. And now we're going to be installing the relay panel into the engine bay using heavy duty velcro and some self drilling screws. Check to see if the panel is attached securely. And now connect the positive of the relay panel to the positive of your battery. I'm using 8 gauge wire and I'm using a 50 amp circuit breaker in the middle. Now it's time for us to install the switch panel into the Jeep. Remove all the dash panels. If you don't know how to do it, check out the video in the description below how to do it. Now we're going to be connecting the switches independent green light. Here I'm using Windows controller circuit. In the circuit, you will find a very small wire which is orange and gray. Peel the tape backward and use a knife to strip the wire. Now solder a 16 gauge wire. Let's apply the power to the switches. I'm using cigarette lighter as a source so the switches will only be on when the key is turned on. Connect an inline fuse to the blue wire of the cigarette switch. Now you should have a white wire coming from the window controller switch with a female connect and a red inline fuse wire from your secret switch. Now it's time for us to connect it all and do a test. 
Take the switch panel that we created in part 2, which will have 5 wires and also 3 wires. Connect the 5 wires to the relay panel 6 feet wire with the color matching. And you should have 3 wires. Connect these with the color matching also. White with the white from window switch. Black with the uh, relay panel. And red from the cigarette lighter switch with the inline fuse. I have 5 amp fuse attached to it. Use the two clips from the original dash panel and attach it to the new switch panel. Attach the switch panel securely to the dash. Test to see if all switches are working and the lights are working. I hope you enjoy this tutorial and hope to see you soon in next DIY. Thank you for watching. Rate, comment and subscribe.